Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. We're going to do a sun strip on this car. Uh, this has a camera and such in the middle, so a big black ceramic area in the middle, so we're gonna actually do a two-piece. Um, but the difference between this and doing one straight strip is not much difference other than the fact we're gonna cut the middle out. So I'll walk you through the steps, Let's get to it. Sun strips aren't extremely hard to do, um, but you know, you wanna take all the necessary precautions to obviously end up with good results. So we're gonna end up using glass aid on this because uh, it's a 5% strip, so hard to see the border. Glass aid greatly helps being able to see where to cut. So I'm gonna clean the outside, we're gonna apply the glass aid, uh, and then we'll roll the strip out, and I'll walk you through cutting it, trimming it, and then we'll go to the install. So sun strips we do as a wet application, uh, not a dry application. You very rarely ever have to shrink a sun strip. So I've got the glass aid on, windows clean. So we're just gonna mist the glass. Our slip solution, soapy water. Now for me, um, this is Tint Depot Superior Charcoal. Uh, I get 10 inch rolls. And the way I do that is I order a 20 inch by 100 foot roll. Uh, in 5% and I have them split it in half. So I end up with two 10 inch rolls, makes it super easy. I have 200 feet, more than enough for plenty of cars to do sun strips. So uh, if you order the film, uh, order a 20 inch roll and have it split in two, it'll come in one box uh, and then use it as your sun strip. So. I could do one continuous piece all the way across, but I'm gonna do two pieces because I like to adjust it uh, with the middle being cut out. I can actually adjust it a little bit straighter uh, than your standard curved style sun strip. So with the middle not being there, I can bring this corner up just a little bit to give it more of a straighter look with the line of the, of the roof. That being said, when you're doing a solid strip without the middle cut, uh, you, you, because of the factory edge and the window being curved, you end up with a little bit of a curve uh, on the sun strip. The, the way to get them to, to curve concord, concave the other way to match the roof line is you plot or cut it, or in some cases you can actually use the roof line as your guide for cutting. If it's a nice clean roof line, this one is, you can use that as your guide and then slide it down and then just freehand the sides. Uh, I don't do that unless it's requested by the customer. So obviously we need to line them up. You want them even on both corners. You want them even in the middle. Um, the standard or, or the law here in Georgia is six inches uh, from the top. I, it's five and a half inches. It might be six and a half inches. I, try to just make it look good and normal without looking ridiculously low, which some people like, and I'm not opposed to that. It's just most people want it to do its job and be a glare strip uh, on the top of the windshield. So we're just gonna line this up. Um, I can see the outline of my glass aid, so that helps me kind of eyeball it. So this side looks really good. At this middle section that's cut out, I can see I'm about right in the middle. I've got a standard ruler to just make it easy so I can lay it on this side and I'm gonna to go to the top of the windshield. I'm nine inches. Uh, whoops, gotta measure our middle and eight. So we'll check the other side. Pretty easy to line up the middle because they're so close together. And that's it. So I've got eight inches, eight inches, nine inches, nine inches. They're going up just a little bit on both sides. Um, that helps it not look like uh, a curved uh, sun strip with, with this being cut out. So. so now we come in with soapy water, lubricate the film, 
or squeegee doesn't move it. And take a squeegee, hammer it down. You want to concentrate on making this flat to the glass. If you get any fingers that pop up, um, try to get them to the side or the top, but they will, it'll work out on the inside of the car. But just try to make sure that this is your flattest edge. So I have a LED light, uh, really bright. Um, because this is 5%, I can see the bump from the uh, tape, but I can't really make out the tape. Um, so a light on the outside without having to get on the inside, which is really nice about this tape. If you shine it just over the tape, it lights up that tape just perfectly for you to be able to see it. So I'm gonna light it up. And I'm just gliding my blade across the, uh, on the glass aid. We've got our sun strips, so we're going to remove the glass aid. Okay, so we're inside the car. Um, I've already grabbed a dash towel and covered the dash. Uh, I've also got another towel. Uh, sitting here in the middle, just covering the middle section. Uh, I have my handled squeegee and a hand squeegee and of course the clay bar. So we're going to clean the glass. I forgot my soap and water. So we're going to clean the glass. Um, obviously, like any other glass, you're going to clean it and make sure it's got nothing on it. So again, I take my hand and just kind of feel if it's really grimy. There we go. Feels good. Take our clay bar clay the area really well. Squeegee it off. I like to squeegee twice. Good measure. When you're squeegeeing the top, try not to rub your squeegee along the headliner. It'll knock little hairs off and can cling back to the glass. So just be mindful of that. So we squeegeed it off. Uh, it's ready for install. So uh, I'm gonna actually wet the window. The sun strip's still sitting on the glass. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna peel it from the windshield. I'm gonna spray it and I'll bring it in here. Again, the difference of doing two strips like this as opposed to doing one solid strip is obviously you're not gonna clean it in two sections. You're not gonna install it in two sections. You're gonna clean one time all the way across. You're gonna squeegee it off and get it prepped and ready. And then you're gonna wet the film or wet the glass. You're gonna peel the entire sun strip and you're gonna bring in one whole sun strip. So that's really the biggest difference. Uh, so we're ready for install. It doesn't take much water. anything take it right to the glass remember the quicker you get it to the glass the less chance of the contamination if you cut it right um, about an eighth over is what you end up with um, so that's where you'll that's where you'll line it up on the inside but the biggest thing is obviously watch for coverage all the way around once it's even and it's good we lubricate it I put a finger uh, overlapping the film and on the glass to kind of pinch it to the glass to keep it from moving. And you're gonna swipe side to side, not up and down, side to side. Now there is middle electronics, so I'm keeping the water to a minimum there, and I don't wanna drive any water into this plastic housing. So I'm locking it down here in the middle. 
stay mindful it can still move on you and then I'm driving all this water down and away nice and then I had this one to just really kind of get in behind the plastic and pull more moisture away let's hammer it down wipe up your shield and this side's done we'll move to the other side and get the other one done up really well too that's another thing that I like about this film is it lets me slide things into place and in most cases it's pretty humid and hot out uh, so I've adjusted my soap obviously and that helps a lot but it allows me to adjust it into place and then just a couple of swipes with the squeegee well, again with the right amount of soap this stuff locks in No bubbles, no fingers, no trash. There you have it. That's how uh, I do my sun strips. Most people do them probably the same way. They're not the most aggressive thing to tackle, um, but um, wanted to at least bring this uh, bring this out, show you show you how to show you how to do one. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, Tint Depot Superior Charcoal. And uh, that's 5%. Remember, like I said, you can get a 20 inch roll and have them split it in two. So you have a 10 inch roll. Makes it super easy to do uh, sun strips. So catch you on the next one. Thanks.